Alright guys, your boy DeAnthony coming back at you with another episode review of Insecure Man Going Down. I loved it. So if you didn't know, I'm into this show. Um, for some reason, I just didn't do reviews on all the episodes. I just watched it faithfully every week. Um, but I just said, you know what? I might as well do some episodes, some review ep on some of these episodes, you know. So here I am. So I'm a little late, but I still appreciate the show. Give a shout out to Issa, Issa Rae. She doing her thing. So, on this episode, this is coming right off of her kind of admitting or getting caught cheating and pretty much telling her friend that she ain't shit. They start off the episode and she's like calling, blowing up his phone. I miss you. I'm sorry. Blah, blah, blah. And then she got the audacity to say it's been three days. Three days for real? I'm like, the fuck? Yeah, three days. I just found out you was you just let some dude smash. Yes, three days. Like, that should be normal. I honestly I shouldn't speak to you for a week or or more. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's some messed up stuff. Cause honestly, Issa, I was getting my stuff together for you. He even says it. Like, I ain't gonna say I was getting my stuff together for her, but I was getting my stuff together for her. So, you should really understand why is it more than three days. And then, she will come to his job. Now, I thought it was the right move, actually, for if you want to apologize and to be vulnerable. Uh, to show up at someone's job with, like, lunch, some extra pair of drawers, because he'd been sleeping on the couch, toothpaste, things like that. Things to, uh, I guess, make his stay at the other place more convenient. But anyway... So, I thought it was a good idea. I thought it was a good idea. Um, but, he's like, yo, I'm done. Don't come up to my job no more. Matter of fact, don't even call me no more. I'm done. I'm out of here. So, he don't, he don't take the little gift bag. And he goes back to work. And actually, I'm glad to see him at work doing something constructive. Because being on the couch all day is whack. So then, Issa and Molly, you know, uh, they end up going to this Malibu kind of like... I don't know, summer house or whatnot. They ran out this place. Looks really nice. And they had to kind of have to try to pretend like nothing's wrong with them. They got to pretend as if Issa didn't just tell her about herself. Uh, Molly got to pretend as if she didn't uh, put her business or put her put Issa on blast. And I honestly think they did a good job because honestly, if those were a bunch of guys, it'd have been like, no, f that dude. No, no, no. It would have been wouldn't even been no trip. So it's a you can see how the difference between like male and female or. Men and women, I guess. I can't. I forgot. I can't say female. Uh, but anyway, um, so I thought that was kind of cool, and the way they kind of did it was classy, but still, like I don't like you right now. Uh, but Molly is doing the most. She up here slobbing down dudes in the club. I'm like, yo, you can't wait till you get back to the house, or you just want to taste the alcohol that's on his lips? Because I feel like we need to like kind of calm down here. But that's just me. I'm not kissing nobody in the club. I can at least wait till we get back to the house. So she's doing the most. She takes the dude, dude back to the house. He pretty much, he smashed. So later on, they're in the actual jacuzzi, and they all call her out on this. Like, what's going on here? Like, she's like, oh, I'm the new Molly now. And they're like, uh, what makes you new? Because I feel like, yeah, you've been doing the same thing your whole life since I've been knowing you. Right. You take the man home. You let him hit. Right, right. That's, that's, the, that's Molly. What are you talking about new? You know, so I thought that was kind of cool. So then, her friend Kelly, which is her birthday, which is why they're going out to Malibu. Her friend Kelly is like, I bought this dude all kind of drinks and I still didn't get none. I'm like, see, that's your problem. You can't buy no man no drinks. I don't know why these women think that just because they got money and it's a cute guy that they can buy a man's attention. Honestly, if a man wants you, he'll buy you drinks. You don't need to buy him no drinks. It's pointless to buy him drinks because either he's interested or he's not. So, you really need to just not do that. Any ladies out there buying dudes drinks, it's pointless. Unless that's your dude, like, for real, for real, and not the dude you just met at the club, don't buy no drinks for no dude, okay? That's, it's the point. It's, it's, it's pointless. It's a waste of money, waste of time, waste of effort. It was like you saw on the show, on that episode, she went home alone. So, just wanted to point that out. So, her boy, Larry, no, Lawrence, got it, got it this time. Only took one time. Lawrence goes to the club with his boys because he's like, you know what? 
tired of this, you know, sappy love song type of I'm going to stop being sad and I'm going to do my thing. So they go to the strip club and they're telling them about, you know, how these, you know, fine girls that didn't want you at 20, now they 30, now they want you. So it's easy now. So Lawrence hits up a stripper and was like, let's go to the back. And they go to the back and I'm like, mm. I feel like he ain't about to do nothing. And his friends said the same thing. He ain't, he ain't about to do nothing. <laughs> Cause that's how I be. When you hurt, like, you ain't thinking about sex all like that. Not like not from no stripper. At least that's how at least that's how I feel. She ends up telling him, you know, it was 250 per head and 400 if you want to have sex. And he's like, man. Cause honestly, they just told you it's easy. Why would you have to pay for it? I'm not paying for nothing, me personally. Not paying for nothing. I felt him on that. So he kind of like shoot her away and they move on. So then he ended up calling Issa. And he's like, I miss you. And she like, hey, babe, what's up? I miss you too. You all right? Yeah, I'm good. So how's Larry or whatever his friend name is? How's Ken or whatever his name is? Oh, he good. So how you doing? He's like, you already asked me that, Issa. So then she was like, well... You can go back to the crib if things is kind of like crazy over there. I'm going to be back till Monday. So he's like, all right, cool. Now, this word get good. He said, okay, cool. She got off the phone. She go run to her friends and was like, yo, I got to go now. I got to get, I got to meet back with Lawrence. And they like, uh, I'm drunk. I ain't going nowhere. Uh, I'm sleepy. I ain't going nowhere. So she bought the Uber, I guess. And, uh, because <laughs> they didn't actually say they're going to Uber or not, but I, I'm assuming she was going to Uber. And then her friend Molly, because they kind of made up, her and Molly kind of made up in a jacuzzi. They was talking about her, putting her on blast. And Issa kind of stood, you know, kind of stood up for her a little bit. So they kind of became friends again. Uh, so she said, I'll take you. So then they rushing down back to L.A. from Malibu, which honestly, that to me was a bad idea. And I know, I know that sometimes when you love somebody and you want to make up for whatever you did, you want to just get right back with them and get to them as soon as you can. But for something like that, he needs some time to think. Give this dude some days alone, not with his friends, not with you, but by himself. So I felt like she should have still came back home on Monday. Now, you guys tell me, do you think she should have went that day when he called her? Or was Monday a better idea because so he get to clear his head? That's just me as a man. I kind of know how we think. So that's where I'm at. So you guys tell me. So she rushes down there. He goes in the house. She go in the house. It, and it, it kind of make it seem like it's like similar times. Like, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes difference. Uh, but when she walk in, she feel the keys on the counter. And she walk in the bedroom. Ain't nothing on the nightstands. Nightstands clear. Like, nightstands is, is, is wiped clean. and what? But Which I would have liked if they would have, like, in the other episodes, show, shown us some things that, you know, were on the nightstand that maybe belonged to him or something they talked about that was on the nightstand so that when I looked at it, I knew right away that he was gone. So then she looked into the closet and it's nothing but a Best Buy shirt. Like, dude, this nigga done took everything and bounced. So he used that time to get all this stuff and go. Since you weren't going to be there, I'm going to get all my stuff and go because I'm done with this. And so... Then they show us how he brought some chick over and was smashing, and I was like, dude, are they really having sex though? I feel like they kind of, this ain't fake. This is real to me. I'm like, whoa, what is happening here? Um, that's why I like the show so much. It's because it's like, it's comedy, it's realism, and then we get like that real stuff, like for real, for real. Like, it's not just a comedy, you know, it's kind of like real life with laughter, you know, so that's why I like it so much. And then she kind of ends up on the couch that they that they put on the uh, on the sidewalk, like, in the first or second episode. She ends up on the couch and Molly comes to console her or whatever, and it's the end of it. And I'm like, dang, son, he was not playing, I'm done. But you know what? It, when you're in a relationship, it is hard to be faithful, especially when you look good like me. And <laughs> when someone kind of gives you an out, it's kind of hard to not take it. You know, so he was already being hit up by this one chick that he met at the bank. 
and she was on, she seemed like, you know, Team Lawrence, go Team Lawrence, and he noticed that, and that's who he brought back, and that's who he decided to get with, and once she got that, he was like, you know what, fine, then if we're going to do it, then we're going to do it. And that's kind of how it was. So, question. Do you think that she should have went right over there as soon as he called and said, I miss you? Or should he have given her some days? Now, I know it was necessary for the actual uh, episode. But in real life, do you think that's what she should have did? Or should she have given him some space to kind of think about it and reminisce a little bit? Alright, so you guys let me know. Comment in the comment section. Like, subscribe. Check out our other stuff as well. Um... You know, as, as you know, I'm from Break Room Blitz. Uh, we do movie reviews, we do show reviews. And so check those out, check out our other videos. Also, we're gonna do a giveaway at the end of December. We're gonna go see Rogue One, A Star Wars Story at the end of the month on December 16th. And we're gonna do a non-spoiler review of that. And we're gonna tell you guys how to enter. You're gonna have to uh, enter in some comments on that video. And at the end of that month, we're going to give away a Rogue One figure. So, I want to give back to our, all of our subscribers, all the people who view us. You know, we appreciate all the support that we get. So, check out for that. Alright guys, I'm DeAnthony. Peace. Hey Derek, you got my SD card? What SD card? What SD card? Hey, hey, I'm asking, do you have my SD card? Oh, your SD card. Yes, that's oh, right. Oh, my bad. Right. Oh. All right, all right, all right. Back up. All right, all right.